En enjoy it. Thank you very much, man. Much love. Oof. Yeah, so this guy is like, in my opinion, the best player in Ireland, but he's kind of like a wall in like the last few years. Alaska's was standing to one was 14 for him, and it wasn't plus nine, it was like plus not nine anyway, it was like plus two, three. Her punishment was a lot worse in this game. Her was signing one for it was 15 for him, but it was like that in second seven, season one as well. Her punishment was bad, it was bad. Punishment as a whole got buffed in second seven. Her snake edge was faster as well. But punishment as a whole got buffed in second seven. So it wasn't just as good. So Asuka was like kind of like the more defensive Kazama, but Jin was more like aggressive and stringy. Yeah, it was season two, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But Jim was um like a lot more strainy and aggressive. It's a back roll catch. Rage Shimpachi, what what rage Jim is he gonna do rage Shimpachi stuff here? Wang on I hate it, Wang. Denver two two Denver one one. It was natural on counter. Jin didn't have a natural um Dunford one follow up. Wang was a fucking war crime. He was, he was, he was. You love Wang, yeah 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 yeah. Yo chop. So Denmark 3, 4, 4 2, 1. I really liked Tai 2. I really liked Tai 2. Back three. Does anyone recognize the June costume, by the way? It is Mikasa, yeah, yeah. I was a wee back then. Yo, Kintsuki, what's up? I still haven't watched like the last two seasons of Attack on Titan. What you mean back then? Back then? What I- Oh, while standing 2-1, I missed this. I missed the while standing 2-1. Right, now it's an anime girl, no it's not, it's Sonosaki Shion. Denmark 4, spamming the Asilba lows. What is that beeping noise? Oh, for three, one plus two. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, back three was like shit in this game. Everyone could launch it with one button. Everyone could launch it with one button in this game. Like, it was actually like a bad move. Look at that pushback on Denmark 1 1. Man, June is so sick. They need to bring a book. You best be 30, my condolences. Let me, let me skip ahead. Round one. Round one. Bro, the PS3 notifications. But I don't know many people are like really against June. Like, I think people are like. They either like her or they're okay with her. They're either okay with her or they or they like her. I don't think anyone actually like outright this outright hates her, like June and Nina run second, we'll hang on now. Just tag him back one. She had back 2 4 3 in this game. Yeah, back 4 3 3 is kind of ridiculous. So people hate her? No. Like, I would rather if um, 
Jim wasn't uh, so stringy in Tekken Age. Like, she was a bit more solid. Like, I mean, her wall signing too was such a nice, um... It was such a nice, uh, string. One of the best grabs in the game. Her 1 plus 2 plus 4. She had a low top color on the FC, at plus frames. So her FC game was really nice compared to us, because... So her um, FC game was really nice compared to us, because... What made Jim weak? She didn't have like a big power mix-up. She didn't have like, you know, like a big power low, like a Hell's Creeper, these kind of moves, or like a knockdown low. So it was kind of hard to like the life leap back with Jin. Like she was reliant on like little small damage pokes. And strings. But she had like, her strength was like, she had like, her punishment wasn't great as well. Her punishment was kind of bad. Like us, cause like she shouldn't have a launcher till 16 frame, and her 12 frame was kind of bad. She wasn't that linear. Like her definitely had good tracking. Oh yeah, she had stand stuff as well, but they weren't that. They were like only useful in like certain situations. She had better Oki than Asuka. So, Jun's far to hit Grandish. Asuka's only hit like at very certain angles, but Jun's hit always Grandish. Always at all angles. Jun had Tekken 7 um, forward to before it was a thing. Minus the flip over. Man, her Tiger Soft fellow was so nice too. Chimpachi fell so quickly against the wall. There's the Taito combo. Yeah. You had to like really manage your life in this game. She did, yeah. You could do a hot kick from Critch. Like her hot kick was 16 frame. You could do it from Critch. She had a 12 frame mid, mid counter launcher, but it was a breakable stun. You had to break the stun. It wasn't guaranteed. But what you could do is you do 1 plus 2. And then you could do forward four afterwards. If they didn't break the stun, you get a combo of forward four. And her forward four combo is really damaging and easy. Uh, if they broke the stun, you get some plus frames from the forward four. Like one plus two in the forward four is unscaled, like launcher if they didn't break the stun. And sometimes like you don't react to break. I don't think there's anything like that in seven breakable stuns. They took a lot of breakable stuns away. Like, they were really common in older Tekkens, but they kind of took a lot of them away. Are there many? I know Devil Jin has one off the Laser Scraper. Facebook Messenger Note, I don't know. I don't know where they're coming from. Did you notice in Tag 2, the camera on the characters is like further out? In 7, they're like closer. Man, her co just her animations were so cool in this game. Just her animations were so nice. I like the stage as well, the New York stage. No launch, I'm shit. I, my size set mix up. Oh, you're not getting. There's the 1 plus 2. The 1 plus 2. 12 frame mids. Yeah, I'm looking for a tech. I think, like, they showed the potential with the DLC stages and characters in terms of, like, design and visuals. So I think, um, they could do a good job with the Tekken 8 stuff. They could do a good job with Tekken 8 stuff. Alan Paradise, the best stage? Yeah. I like Cooney stage as well. Cooney stage is super good. Yeah, like the models. 
for the most part, the models in Tide 2 looks better, I think. Because, like, I think it's their first time with Second 7 engine or something. So, I think, um... The models look better, for sure, in in this game. But I, I do have faith. Neon, thanks for the raid, man. Thank you very much. Look, look, matching outfits. Matching outfits. Thank you, Neon. Yeah, we're just we're looking we're looking at Tide stuff before we start the stream. Asuka's 2-3 was good because if I punish with that, I got safe tag. Look at that. Look at that. Look look at the rage pokes. Look at the rage pokes. Down for. Down for. We're punished. Down for. No, I haven't said meal. No, I haven't. Oh, Wayne and Moon. Keep the shit away from Tekken 7. I was done for on hit. It was neutral. I, it was a 15 frame low, and I think it was neutral on hit. Let me double check that. Oh, it was a low that trap, but ways as well. But you can see Jun is more like pokey, pokey, pokey rather than like mix up heavy. Then for was 15 frame and zero on hit. Yeah, it was. Oh, I got the Pocky W Simcheck Simcheck Frog XD. Look at this. This grab was so strong. Because I got this flip. I got this Oki. Slice up for Kagura. Oh, Jimpachi was so bullshit. Jimpachi was so strong in this game. This is um just casual set against the truth. In my opinion, he was he, he was and still is the best player in Ireland, but he's he's been like a wall for years now. But he, he plays Fang nowadays, but in this game he played Wang and Chimpachi. Wait, I'm not going for Omega today. Look at this, look at this tag to Oki. This was 2015, I think. Yeah, 2015. In Belfast. Guess it's dying. Give me some subs before you die. Get ready for the next battle. Mm, but this, this was just a casual set that I had with him. Mmm, I bought nose, I bought nose. You're playing for Fiber Asuka. Enjoy. Good luck against Asuka online. Round one. Round one. Fucking PS3 notifications. Look, the falling rain. I still did a setup. Oh, where's the wall? Back forward to it was safe in this game. Demo plus two meta and tag two still. So I did how kick as a tag punish because he was doing dick chop a lot coming in. So I wanted to stop that. I thought PS3 was such a dog shit console. Like it was so slow and unautomatic. There's the hop kick. Jun had a double hop kick. That's why her FC Dumper 2 from Crouch into, into counter follow was, was stronger than Asuka's. No, that's just the video. That's just the video. That's just the video. Rage Jimpachi, woo. Bam, bam. That was, that's what Asuka was good at. She was good at giving her, giving her partner a combo. Two one four one. You just just do it. Like it's just a string. You just do it. But you had to do like a one hit bend though. 
You, you need a one-hit bend. Back three was bad in this game. Like, it's it's really good now, but in this game, it was really bad. Because everyone could punish it with one button. So if you did tag... No, if you did one plus two and tag at the same time, you got, like, a generic bound. And that was fast enough and far enough to reach back three at every single range. So every character had a back three punish. That was a launcher. Uh, Jun should be Asuka's aunt, but they never like said it. But this should be. We have to laugh. They never said it, but she should be her aunt. Get ready for the next battle. Moves look similar, yeah, yeah. Like, like they have a similar playstyle. Like, they're they're quite different, but they do share some moves. They do share some moves. Ross Annie Tree flipped over like this. No, no launch. What am I doing? I'm so bad. Okay. Is he going to tie crash here? So, if you're in a good spot, you can kill the outgoing character. So, if they tie crash was when, if you, if your partner had rage, and their light bar is flashing like this, if you're on the ground, you can tie crash, which is two plus tag. And then, it will let you do like a invincible move to come in. But the thing is, your out, the outgoing character can still be hit. So, there's a few setups where... You could say like in this situation, right? He has a little bit of life left. So I can still like try and hit him during the tie crash. Like the character coming in won't get hit, but the character outgoing will get hit. So there's a few setups in the game where you do your combo ender and then you do something afterwards to hit the outgoing character. And there is a huge scaling, obviously, like there's a huge scaling on the outgoing character. Like it's a lot less damage, but you know, obviously my 4-2 here was enough to kill him. Bam. So it just died. The Echo character just died. Any gym players in Yuka? I mean, gym was kind of uncommon in the tournament scene. So. Oh, look at that Hell Sweep. That Hell Sweep was in the stance. It's kind of cheesy. Like, it's not really a good stance because it's duckable. But it can catch you off. I mean, I'm I'm talking like tournament gins. I think I don't think there really was any in UK. Yeah, she had nothing guaranteed off this in tie two. FC game, FC game. Tag two for this, you know. Oh, punch parry. They never bring back tag. I like that. I like that. I can see why people don't like it, but I really, really like that. But like the tag system had such a fun like potential. Like you know, there, you could do so much. Like you could pair any character together and get like cool combos or cool setups. It was just so interesting. Yeah, but the thing with this 